Good evening, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Sunday, June 26. It's the sixth week after Pentecost and week seven in our psalm cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 23, Acts 17, verse 22 to 34, and a canticle from Isaiah, chapter 12, verse 2 through 6. And now please join me in singing verse 4 of Holy God, We Praise Your Name. Holy Father, Holy Son, Holy Spirit, three we name Thee, while in essence only one, undivided God we claim Thee. Then adoring bend the knee and confess the mystery. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. O merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault, in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults. Cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah, you are my shepherd, I shall not want. Hallelujah, Psalm 23. And please recite it with me. Hallelujah, you are my shepherd, I shall not want. You make me to lie down in green pastures. You lead me beside the still waters. You restore my soul, and you lead me in the paths of righteousness for your name's sake. And though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and staff comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, and my cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in your house forever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, you are my shepherd. I shall not want. Hallelujah. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 17, beginning at verse 22. And then Paul stood in front of the Areopagus and said, Athenians, I see how extremely religious you are in every way. For as I went through the city and looked carefully at the objects of your worship, I found among them an altar with the inscription to an unknown God. What therefore you worship is unknown, this I proclaim to you. The God who has made the world and everything in it, he who is Lord of heaven and earth, does not live in shrines made by human hands, nor is he served by human hands, as though he needed anything, since he himself gives to all mortal life and breath and all things. From one ancestor he made all nations to inhabit the whole earth, and he allotted the times of their existence and the boundaries of the places where they would live, so that they would search for God and perhaps grope for him and find him.
though indeed he is not far from each of us. For in him we live and move and have our being, as even some of your own poets have said, for we too are his offspring. Since we are God's offspring, we ought not to think that the deity is like gold or silver or stone, an image formed by the art and the imagination of mortals. While God has overlooked the times of human ignorance, now he commands all people everywhere to repent, because he has fixed a day on which he will have the world judged in righteousness by a man whom he has appointed. And of this he has given assurance to all by raising him from the dead. When they heard of the resurrection of the dead, some scoffed, but others said, We will hear you again about this. At that point Paul left them, but some of them joined him and became believers, including Dionysus, the Areopagate, and a woman named Damarius, and others with them. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, hide us under the shadow of your wings. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. And let's recite the canticle together. Hallelujah! Behold! God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid, for you are my strength and my song. You have become my salvation. So with joy I draw water from the wells of salvation. And in that day I shall say, Praise the Most High, call upon God's name, declare God's deeds among the people, proclaim that God's name is exalted. Sing to the Most High, for God has done glorious things. This is known in all the earth. Cry out and shout, you inhabitants of Zion, for great is the Holy One of Israel, who dwells among us. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah.